Hello class, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn about principal roots of a number, both rational and irrational. So, bago tayo pumunta kay principal root, differentiate muna natin yung rational numbers and irrational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed as a quotient of two integers. A and B, where B cannot be equal to 0. So, ang example ng mga rational numbers ay yung mga counting numbers, example 3, whole numbers, including 0, integers, meron tayong positive and negative whole numbers dyan. Then, kasama rin yung fractions, as well as the terminating decimals. Pag sinabing terminating decimals, ito yung may mga ending na decimal, no? Then, yung ating repeating decimals, yung paulit-ulit. While irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be expressed as a quotient of two integers. So, ang mga examples of numbers that are irrational are non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. Ibig sabihin, sila yung hindi paulit-ulit at the same time walang ending. Okay? Example dito is yung, kung makapansin yung decimals natin dito, is hindi sila repeating, then at the same time, wala silang ending. Okay? Then, the value of pi is also irrational, guys. Tandaan yan. And kasama dito yung mga numbers na walang square root. Okay? So, next, um, uh, recall muna natin to bago tayo pumunta kay principal root of a number. So, the reverse operation of squaring a number is taking the square root. So, parang kay addition, guys, di ba? Si addition, ang reverse operation ni addition is yung ating subtraction. And sa multiplication naman, ang reverse operation ni multiplication is division. So, dito, guys, yung squaring, ang opposite niya naman is yung square root. Example, we have 5 square so, alam natin, yung 5 square is equal to 25 since 5 times 5 is 25. And yung negative 5 square is positive 25 then So, therefore, yung square root of 25 natin is either 5 or negative 5. Okay? So, meron din, meron din si cubing. Ibig sabihin, yung cube. Yung cube ng number is opposite niya naman yung cube root. Example, si 2 cube is equivalent to 8. So, meaning, yung cube root ni 8 is equivalent to 2. Sa so, ganun lang. Now, so, we have negative 2 cube, which is equals to negative 8. So, ang cube root ni negative 8 is equal to negative 2. So, generally, if a raised to n is equal to b, then the nth root of b is equal to a. Okay, so the notation for the principal nth root of a number is nth root of b equals a, where n is the index of the radical. Kung baga sa exponential, siya yung ating exponent. Okay, yung letter n dito, ang tawag yan is index. Then yung b is the radicand, yung nasa loob ng ating radical symbol or ng sign. Then yung a is the principal root. Okay? So, may dapat kayong tandaan kung ano ba yung principal root. So, may tatlo tayo ditong rules about the principal root. The principal nth root of a positive number is the positive nth root. Okay? So, kung ang given natin is positive number, yung kanyang nth root daw is also positive. Then, the principal nth root of a negative number is negative nth root if n is odd. So, dito guys, hindi lahat ng negative number is may nth root. Okay? So, magkakaroon lang tayo ng nth root doon kapag yung n natin is odd. Then, if n is even and the number is negative, so, tanda na, yung n daw natin is even number, tapos yung number natin is negative, ang ating principal nth root is not defined. Okay? So, let's have example. Tell whether the principal nth root of the given number is rational or irrational. So, to determine whether a principal root 
is rational or irrational number determine if the radicand is a perfect nth power of a number. Okay, kumbaga sa square root, check natin kung yung number ba sa radicand is a perfect square number. Kung cube naman, a perfect cube number. Okay? So, then, if it is, then the root is rational. Otherwise, it is irrational. So, let's have number 1, square root of 25. So, alam naman natin, si 25 is a perfect square number. So, therefore, ang square root na 25 is 5. So, si 5 siya yung ating principal nth root. So, tandaan, pagka ang number natin is positive, ang principal nth root na, na, na gagamitin natin is yung positive. Okay? So, since merong square root si 25, which is 5. So, 5 is a rational number. Okay? Sundan so, ba guys? So, next number 2. Cube root of negative 27. Ayan. So, alam naman natin, si 3, si negative 3 cube, which is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, is equivalent to 20, negative 27. So, therefore, si cube root of negative 27 is equals to negative 3. Okay? So, since si negative 27 ay may cube root, so, therefore, siya ay rational number. Okay? Next, number 3. Fourth root of 16. So, check natin kung may, may fourth root ba ang 16. So, check natin si 2 raised to 4, which is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, 2 times 2, we have 4 times 2, 8, then times 2, 16. So, since si 2 raised to 4 is equals to 16, yung fourth root ng ating 16 is equal to 2. So, therefore... This is a rational number. Okay? Next, number 4, we have square root of negative 9. So, since dito guys, yung index number natin dito is even. Since, dito, dito nyo makikita yung index guys. Pagka walang number doon sa index ng ating radical sign, meaning that is 2. So, 2 is even. Then, kung mapansin nyo, yung ating radicand number is a negative. So, meaning, yung ating principal nth root is not defined. So, ito yung ating sagot dito. Okay? Next, number 5. Cube root of 12. So, check natin kung may, may cube root ba yung 12. So, kung mag 2 cube tayo, 2 raised to cube, we have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So, hindi siya, so hindi ito ang sagot natin dito. Then, try naman natin yung 3. 3 cube, which is 3 times 3 times 3, that is equivalent to 27. So, since lumagpas na tayo kay 12, diba? we have 8 and 27. Eh, since 12 yung ating radicand, So, meaning, there is no number when raised to the third power is equal to 12. So, therefore, this is a irrational number. Okay, guys. So, next. Next, we have estimated value of irrational roots. So, if a principal root is irrational, kagaya nung sa last example natin kanina, which is cube root of 12, that is irrational number, the best we can do for now is to give an estimate of its value. So, ang gagawin natin para ma-estimate natin yung value ng irrational number is to find two closest integers to the given nth root. Example, Number 1, we have square root of 30. So, alam naman natin, 30 is not a perfect square number. So, meaning, wala siyang square root. So, ang gagawin natin, isahalap kayo ng dalawang number na malapit kay 30 na perfect square. Okay? So, dito, so, ang dalawang naiisip natin number na perfect square na malapit kay 30 is pwedeng 25. 
and 36. Okay, then nasa gitna nila si 30. So, kung si 25 and 36 ay parehas perfect square number, so pag kinuha natin yung square root ni 25 at saka ni 36, we have 5 and 6. Tama? So, therefore, so, therefore, the square root of 30 is between 5 and 6. Okay? So, nakuha ba kung paano mag-estimate, guys? Another example, number 2. Cube root of 45. So, para mahanap natin kung saan ba malapit si 45, ah, mag-iisip tayo ng dalawang number na merong cube root. Okay, na pinakamalapit kay 45. So, dito pwede natin maisip is yung 3 cube which is 27. And yung 4 cube, yung 4 times 4 times 4 which is 64. Then, alam naman natin nasa gitna nila si 45. So, kung kukunin natin yung cube root ni 27 and yung cube root ni 64, we have 3 and 4. Tama? So, meaning, ang cube root ni 45 is between 4 or is between 3 and 4. Okay, so ganyan lang mag-estimate guys. So, next, number 3, we have 4th root of 72. So, ahanap tayo ng dalawang number na malapit kay 72 na merong 4th root. So, unahin na natin dun si... Try ni muna natin si 2 raised to 4. So, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, we have 16. Ito yung ating 2 raised to 4. And si 3 raised to 4, which is 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, we have 81. So, napag-gitnaan ni 16 and 81 si 72. So, meaning, pag kinuha natin yung 4th root ni 16, which is 2, yung kanyang principal nth root, then yung 4th root ni 81, which is 3 naman, yung kanyang principal nth root. So, meaning... Ang, uh, ang fourth root ni 72 is between 2 and 3. Okay guys? So this is the end of our video. I hope nag-enjoy and natuto kayo sa ating lesson. So if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!